What's up, y'all? I'm Priestess Ishta, and this is the spiritual motivation that you need right now. So we're going to cast a circle of divine protection so that only messages rooted in divine love, wisdom, and truth are allowed through. Ashe. Asking our angels, ancestors, guardians, and guides to please stand at their points protecting this circle. All right. So here we're going to get centered in our energy. I'm going to give you some spiritual motivation. Um, I'm a raw reader. All right. So that means that I will cuss from time to time if you've not worked with me before and head over to my YouTube homepage. I have a lot of other readings there for you. With that said, we're going to leave this open great spirit. You know what we're here for. Give us the spiritual motivation that we need. Ashe. We're going to take all of that and then some. Okay, so let's start with the first card that came out. We have here High Priest. All right, so calling all High Priests out there. Um, yeah, this is what you are. If you're watching this right now, you are a High Priest. You are a High Priestess. Um, this is your confirmation. You definitely have some spiritual power, some spiritual divinity that is unactivated. It does say to intend and create. So what I'm feeling like for you, this message is telling us right now is for you to put forth the vision in your mind that you have into an actionable plan. So this is about, notice this is a high priest, not the high priestess. If it was high priestess, we'd be moving in our intuitive energy. We'd be understanding what it is that we feel and moving more so in the re receptivity. But with this being the high priest, this is our masculine energy, gender, sexual identity aside, okay? Spirit and energy is fluid. So this is about us moving in a sense where you might have an idea. You might have a vision. You might have a concept. But it's about you putting it into an actionable plan. And I know, shameless plug, so early in the video. <laughs> but if the shoe fits, bitch, get a matching handbag. What I mean to say is that... <laughs> I'm silly, y'all, so get with it if you with it. If you want some help with bringing your plan into a concrete action, I do have absolutely free. I don't make you sign up. I'm not going to offer you a coaching call. It's like almost ridiculous that I'm offering this, but get it while supplies last. I'll have the link in my description box if you want more information. It is the free alignment call. But what this is, if you don't need any help and you can do this on your own, this is about you taking that plan that you had on i feel like this is an idea a creative project uh, again like i said a vision something that you've had a while and it's like finally time for you to put it forward into motion to actually bring it to life to intend to finish it did you have you been meaning to lose weight have you been meaning to get a, a house and get out of a an apartment complex or you know not not shaming because some people like apartment complexes over a house but it's just about you intending to receive what it is that you have created in your mind if it's a higher number that you're seeing in your bank account if it's a better relationship or if it's just i really feel like for many of you this is a, it, it's a single isolated project it's a thing you've always wanted to do it's a thing that you've always meant to do and I'm getting like a lot of like hiccups and burps and bubbles right now and I'm not a belchy burpy type of bitch but I'm getting like a lot of hiccups and bubbles right now in my throat so I feel like this is something that you have to express it's it's a part of a life work if you've been wanting to do a life's work we all have one some people's life's work are their children like my life's work is my beautiful family my life's work is the home that I left and the lessons that I left some people's life's work is different it's a project it's a book it's a, a platform that they've created it's an app that they've created it's um a, 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 a senior center it's a a learning center or a learning resource basically whatever that light that it is that the most high spirit put into you and some of y'all when you hear me refer to god energy i'm talking about god in the sense of a generator an operator and a destroyer i am an omniist but i'm also an omniist with the basis of self-deification i believe that we are god's spirit in bodied in physical form and we are here to share that god spirit love and light energy that's the greatest gift that the most high gave us okay and i'm also a left pan left path worker which means that i work more with the goddess that said not only are you a high priest but you're also a shaman you're someone who right now you might be seeing or having a higher telepathy um excuse me well telepathy came out so we're not going to negate that telepathy could be a thing that you're experiencing more. You're reading other people's thoughts. You're handing your man, you're handing your girl that cup of juice without her asking. And she's like, hey, wait, how did you know that? Your babe is like, babe, how did you know I wanted that that fluffy blanket, that fuzzy blanket that I needed right now because my feet are cold? You know, it's like things like that that you're just picking up on. And people are realizing it and they are... Um, 
not so much that people are realizing, but it's also more so that you're realizing. And with your realizing of it, you're starting to understand like, oh shit, I'm magical. Um, if it's not in the telepathy way, it's definitely in a dream sense. You might be having heightened dreams right now. I'm also seeing that there is a heightened, um, you might be just seeing spirits like straight up, seeing a lot of ghosts, seeing a lot of spirits. Let's get some more info. Wow, I didn't even see this card. I swear. <laughs> I didn't even see it coming up next. I'm gonna put them down so you know, like I'm Rosie Holyfield. Like this this there's something about your psychic gifts. Okay, so the spiritual motivator is for you to use your all right, I'm getting experience. There's something with your psychic gifts or your spiritual gifts being used in a way to create success like it doesn't have to be success in like that broadly used way where it's like i'm gonna get money yeah it's like i'm successful i finally released this i'm successful i finally got to help children in this area it's about you having a success at 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 combining your spiritual nature with something that's in the physical that you intend to create or you have been intending to put out there if you hear something in the back it's my dog i don't know if you can hear him because he's like snooping around in the back a little bit but we have your arrow surround yourself with protective energy but how i also see arrow right now it's this is a message saying that there is there's a lot of information coming in and how it's falling right here under seer. I'm, I'm seeing that you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of synchronicities, a lot of confirmations, a lot of three, three, threes in particular, and one, one, ones and 11, 11s. three, 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 because that's the number of creation. One, one, one is the number also of creation. Um, because three itself is the number of creation and one, one, one reduces to three. Also, I'm hearing that you might be seeing four, 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 because and 12, 12, four, four, four is the number, the archangel number. And for some of you you're a part of a high a holy angelic order um you are you are connected to a holy angelic order and a part of your mission on earth is to see through an assignment that's what this intent and create is it's a mission that you came down with on earth that you have promised that you do that that it's it's not even promised like okay um all right celestial beings when i get to earth i promise you guys i'm gonna take care of that food uh the food issue that they have down there it's not that like it ain't like that it's like it's woven into your fate like, so it's non-negotiable is what I'm saying. This is something that you cannot escape. And this is your sign that now is the time to start that. So you might be saying, what is that thing? I don't know. You can, if you don't know, book a private reading with somebody that you trust. May I be that person that you trust one day. But if you don't want to do a reading or you don't have the finances, again, like I said, I have a free alignment call while supplies lasts. Let me help you gain clarity for absolutely free in a 15 minute phone call. And if you're not ready, ready for that because you don't want to speak to me that's fine but you owe it to yourself and you owe it to so many other souls out there that need your light that need your healing that need your help to figure out these messages that are coming in and if you know what those messages are move in your power it's time for you to start intending and creating write that book already put out that course already start that start that healing group many of you have been through a lot of shit and you don't realize that you can support you can start a support group you don't need to have official licensures now you can't administer um advice you can't administer medication unless you have certain licenses but look at the legalities around things before you open shit up you know don't go just go running with it <laughs> be realistic too but open those support groups if you're someone who struggled with drug addiction if you're someone who struggled with being in abusive relationships if you're someone who struggled with loss of children that you couldn't reproduce you know how many women feel um who who have who have fertility issues who need a support group so if you're a man who is, you know, someone who's not able to have full, full experiences sexually because you might have issues with getting a full erection. These are things that you can start a support group with and help others with. It doesn't have to be something big. So I'm just giving some examples. Let's move on. Autumn release <clears throat> the old and rest. Hmm. So with release the old and rest, let me get a few more cards because I'm not too sure what we're saying here in this message. <laughs> Okay. I get it. Um, I'm seeing these crows are sticking out to me. 
um, and the owl as well. Then you have the hawk over here. So you might be seeing a lot of birds, a lot of bird feathers, in particular white feathers, gray feathers, gray and white feathers, those brown and gray and white kind of feathers, um, pigeon feathers. When you're seeing these feathers, I'm hearing that this is a sim this is symbolizing your shedding. You're shedding an old mindset. You're shedding an old version of yourself. In particular, with this, I'm feeling like with this these rings that I'm seeing. I feel like since the ring of fire that everyone is everyone is calling the great eclipse that we've just had. And if you're watching this in the future, that point of the ring of fire from the great eclipse that was that occurred on October 14th of 2023. At that point, you undergone you under. They're telling me to say you underwent spiritual uh, surgery. So you, that, that eclipse opened your sight. Oh, sometimes the messages come faster than my mouth can keep up. Um, but that opened your sight. And I apologize. Let me fix this down here. So those messages opened your sight. Those messages allowed your, when I say sight, it, it opened your sight in a sense where it's like, where like I can see clearly now the rain is gone, but also like I can see clearly now. I can see who I am. I can see what I want. I can see my power. I can see my divinity. I can see my influence. I can see my potential. I can see my, my reach. I can see my range. I can see where I'm limited. I can see where I need to hold back. I can see where I need to reinforce. It's about you seeing what was so that it can die. And it's interesting that this is coming out, this autumn card here, because now is the time for you to shed that old skin, let those leaves, even some of you might be shedding some hair, I'm mean, feeling like, like you're just shedding a lot, um, maybe more skin than, than, than normally you might be shedding. Um, just fo exfoliating and clearing, 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 because what's happening is you're being... Um, it's like a marinade. You're like under, you're in, you're a good marinade right now. You're like under spiritual marinade. And what I'm sensing is this message is to help you to connect closer to your spiritual gifts. So that way you can, you can use your gift to heal yourself, but also to heal others. You are a psychic healer is what I'm feeling and sensing. And you are here to learn. Not that this is the only reason why you're alive, okay? I'm just telling you what I'm reading right now. You're here to learn how to heal others through the healing that you've had to do. Another thing is what this message is saying is that all of that pain, all of that pain that you have experienced in life, you're at a point now where you're ready to shed it and let it go. You're ready to... Uh, and I feel like you, many of you have already done this, but if you haven't, you're at a point where you're ready to, it's like, okay, I don't need to hold it. Sometimes we hold on to our pain because it feels good. It feels comfortable. It feels warm. It feels cozy. Like that blanket I mentioned earlier, it feels snug, snugly. <laughs> you just want to get like comfortable. I used to, I, I'll be honest, y'all. I used to love um, pain, not in a physical sense. I don't like physical pain. I've ever I don't like physical pain. I don't fuck with it. But in a emotional sense, I loved emotional pain because I felt like if I was emotionally upset, I was getting work done. I felt that if I was crying all the time or if I felt anxiety or if I felt pressure, even something as light as pressure, that that was a good sign of progress. That was me expanding. That was me growing. But it wasn't. Um, while I was inadvertently expanding and growing, expanding and growing because you cannot do anything but that as a as a physical, spiritual, divine being, I was doing it in a counterproductive way. I was identifying love through pain. And for some of you, you may have had similar experiences or you may, whether it showed up in a romantic sense or you may have had similar experiences through, you've had to kind of learn learn your value. If you're working in a corporation, you realize like, wow, this company really doesn't fucking care about me. <laughs> And like, that might sound like, okay, we can laugh at that. But sometimes when you really dedicate yourself to something and it gives you worth and purpose, it can hurt. It can hurt when you have those light bulb moments. And I just feel that many of you have already gone through a light bulb moment about something and, or you're about to, but it's about you taking all of that pain, like I said a moment ago, and alchemizing it to create something that's going to heal a lot of people you had to go through that so let's get you some final departing messages final departing messages spirit any others final departing messages i 
I just want to say this came out twice. So you have your surround yourself with protective energy and protect yourself. I'm sensing that there's somebody that is around you that is ciphering your energy. They might be doing it, not knowing it. Um, I, I need to look into that for you. They're telling me they might be doing that knowingly or not knowingly. So you may have somebody around you who I'm hearing Debbie Downer or um, who's just they're not in alignment. They're not even working on themselves. They're not even trying to be in alignment. They're not trying to progress forward. They're not trying to be, um, they're not trying to do their, their work, their part in their spiritual energy. So this might be somebody that you kick it with, somebody that you have a lot of fun with. Nine of coins and nine of cups here. Definitely it's time to end this. Um, but this might be somebody that you kick it with, somebody that you have a lot of fun with, somebody that you drink a lot with, somebody that you party with. It could even be somebody that you just like, you know, like it could be like your side chick. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like you might be at a time where you're like, you know, I'm I'm tired of <laughs> or like your side, your side piece where it's like, I want to be more loyal. I want to be more faithful. But there is a person that is around you. The point that I'm trying to highlight that you are being called to shield yourself from you will. This person will be revealed to you soon. One of the messages that's been coming in, that's been trying to get channeled to you. The synchronicities that you've been getting is trying to get your attention about this person. It doesn't mean that this person's evil. This person's terrible for you. Like spirit has been trying to show you signs on how you need to move maneuver with this person because this person is just one individual it could be a group of friends with the three of cups but i'm really sensing one this individual um is distracting you from your spiritual mission okay we have here you can't make it up y'all saw the shuffle you're clairvoyant you're clairvoyant like a motherfucker you're clear probably more clairvoyant than me okay and i'm clairvoyant as shit and it's like almost like it's it's not blocked it's it's there it's it's just are you caring about it? Are you caring for it? Are you giving it that TLC? Are you giving it that attention? Are you praying every morning? Do you have a spiritual routine? Maybe that's what you should call in to get help with for your alignment call. Or maybe that's what you should just try to reinforce on your own. I'm going to keep shameless plugging this alignment call because I'm telling you, it changes lives. Like it's, it's the freest thing. It's the freest thing next to air. The only thing that you have to really pay is attention. <laughs> when I'm talking to you on your call. It's like free therapy. Look, I say no more. You do it when you're ready, babes. Shadow work and river. When I think of the river, or when I'm hearing river right now, I'm thinking of river sticks. And when I see Lilith, I'm, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing like, rebirth there's something about a rebirth um there's something like a rebirth or something that's coming back into 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 its natural power it's almost like you had a dormant power there was something that was dormant there was something that was off there was something that was cold and the minute that you do the shadow work it's like that this could have something I would recommend looking at your Lilith placement those of you who are into astrology and you get down with astrology like that look at your Lilith placement and if you look at your Lilith placement what you'll see is like obviously the matching sign and I do have a feeling that whatever astrology sign is coming up there it's going to be the thing that you get this spiritual gift in if you don't know your Lilith placement it doesn't matter <laughs> because like I said before I feel like this a lot of this is to do with your clairvoyance and your ability to have foresight also with river um with river sticks i don't know why the first thing came up was river, river sticks which is just making me think of the dream realm i feel like with these owls that are here be monitoring more of your dreams have that dream journal right next to your bed so when you wake up even if it doesn't make sense just write it down and don't just write it down and just okay i have my dreams written down okay and what bitch like you gotta go back okay you gotta reflect you have to look one day a week once a month however often and say oh all of these dreams oh shoot this is what was really happening this is what was um what i was trying to connect this is what i was trying to reveal this is the message so it's almost like putting pieces together to a puzzle but the puzzle of yourself because that's just how the subconscious mind works it is the mind of chaos not in a bad way but it, it's the mind that pulls from the chaos realm it's the feminine mind which is why lilith comes up but i do feel that with river again outside of river sticks i do feel that river is representing fluidity clarity 
the stream, like running streams, running streams of rivers, it sounds, it's like a babbling brook. It's like that hearing that noise, it gives you the clarity that you are, that you're going to need to make decisions on, on this project or on this beautiful gift that you're going to give us as a healer. You're going to need to have clarity on how to steer yourself forward because with the river, I also feel like this is about you moving forward with the shadow work. I feel like, like I said before, letting go and truly shedding that old skin, truly saying goodbye to those old wounds, truly saying goodbye to that old pain. I don't need it anymore. It's making me crusty, dusty, and musty. I want light. I want to resonate golden, bright, beautiful, purple, orange, green, whatever chakra color light that I can put out there i want to radiate because that is that's your true nature that's the trueness of who you are that is the embodiment of divinity and that is what you are the embodiment of divinity so once you do your shadow work i do feel that it's going to really unplug a lot of spiritual gifts and i do feel also that there's spiritual gifts that you are getting that you have received from the maternal women in your family it could be a, a woman on your father's side or a woman on your mother's side but there's a connection that you will make with all of this that you're going to learn about the women in your family uh yeah something about them they're 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 like healers there's something there's something about these women in your family they're uh, they're healers they are they're like practitioners they were the shamans they were the medicine women they were you know and this is not to negate the men you know i talk we started off with the masculine energy i talk both sides but i do feel like it's a woman something in your women bloodline all right that you're going to come into connection with once you finally release and let go so i hope that message has served you as a matter of fact i know it has and until the next time that we do a spiritual motivator i'll try to do these weekly but if y'all have any questions everything that you need is in the description box below so much love to you and all my loving love naturally is out baby